Hello, everybody. So, I just got really. I, blah, 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 blah. I just got done reading for practitioners dealing with this energy, right? Apparently, they got Carl and Carla. Which is an energy I haven't read for since, like, last year. They've hinted themselves over time, but literally, I haven't read for them since last year. And it's like. Wow! I was not expecting it to be y'all. Like, that's just how I feel, but that's what's going up. Anyway, this is for everybody else who's goddamn regular. Because, uh... Quite honestly... I'm in a way... Aw! Oh, judgment. The judgment! Oh, I'm so happy to see that for everybody. Thank you! We got the situation which is in the higher event. Strength reverse. Why is this not showing? There we go. It's a little better. Strength reverse in the wants and wishes. Who wants their neck bit? Like the fuck? Like, like someone's asking a black person to yank them by the scruff of their neck back to a situation they're not done talking about. What the fuck? I'm not even kidding. Black people, we have this ability to stretch longer than what they are. To snatch someone by the back and bring them back to listen to what the fuck we were talking about because we're not done yet. Now we got taxes. Now we got to talk about how you walked away from us disrespectfully because that's how we is. The obstacle and challenge is the offer. Ace of Pentacles with my dragon. Ooh! Someone wants to break the dragon's neck, but the obstacle and challenge is the dragon itself. Nick, oh, oh my god, like, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is it? Fears and rejections, the Knight of Wands running in too quickly without knowing what's going on, but the Ace of Cups is what started and what ends it. Someone's begging for mercy. Someone's begging. For, if you're not a practitioner, this is for you because there's going to be two readings tonight in case you didn't know. I don't know which one I'm going to upload first. So if you see this one first, there's a practitioner one. And the practitioner one deals with more with Carl and Carla because apparently there's a couple who's fucking with practitioners, which is such as myself, which I deal with dark magic and I deal with kitchen with shit. So it's just like, why are you messing with me? I have oregano in my goddamn cabinet with some kosher salt, motherfucker. Right? Leave me on the fuck alone. But apparently, there are repercussions to be had because apparently a lot of us practitioners didn't know that this couple was doing... I didn't know this couple was doing anything to me. I didn't even realize it was them. I honestly thought they were funny as fuck. Honestly. I'm really... Uh, uh, like, I'm kind of upset about that. I'm really upset because it's just like, I really like Carl and Carla. Why don't they like me? Or at least, that's my energy. Everyone else's energy reflects is, reflects the same. Like, not all of us in the collective follow the same path, which is why there are two readings tonight. Because it deals with those who practice the arts, whether dark or light, and those of us who are muggles and don't know what the fuck is going on, so we go pray to Jesus. So, hallelujah, amen. So, this is for everybody. The faithful and the heathens. Or if you really want to be like, General, it's just non-denominational. If you're non-denominational, I'm non-denominational. That's how I can serve the Lord and be a witch at the same fucking time. Pagans are allowed to serve the Lord as long as they recognize him as a creator. Not as the Lord and Savior, just as a creator, but you actually have to know that. Also, Lilith. Lilith made a way. Thank you, Lilith. Anyway. If he didn't have a couple against you. I feel like a lot of people, particularly one bitch who had your name in their mouth or something about you in their mouth, is wishing for the love of God you be taken out and they're finding out that was the wrong thing to do. How dare you wish for someone to die? Or be taken out. Or be removed from your environment if you're not even willing to be removed yourself. Let's be clear. Magic only works if you're willing to lose the exact same thing you're willing to take from someone else. 
You know, like, I'm just going to reveal something here because I think a lot of people need to understand that magic works when you lose something in order to strip it from someone else. You gain something when you give it to someone else. You are the conduit to deliver the message of the Lord. So to speak, if you believe the Lord as a pantheonic energy and, you know, think that everything is God, right? Some people will struggle with that, but if you understand that God is a microbe that's infectious and viral to the human DNA and only affects the part which rises as Horus and not Orion, you will understand that, like, some of this will not affect you, but it will affect those who are of the Orion or Osiris, a gene. Those whose DNA were not activated. Those who live only to die in comparison to the living dead. Whose only mission is to live when, or, well, yeah, I guess live or be alive before they die. That way they don't become one of the sleeping. The eternal sleeping, but... I don't know. This is the first time in decades. Decades. That I can associate something with a text. But it actually makes sense. So this is for you muggles. Who are good kids and don't dabble in the arts even though you fucking pray and shit and meditate. But, you know, we're gonna ignore that because, like, whatever, like, we'll just ignore that. This is for y'all who mind your goddamn business and don't try to inflict your own sense of revenge outside of the goddamn Lord. This is for all of y'all who, uh, um, want to believe you're chosen but you won't lift a finger up to protect yourself. I'm just saying, from a uh, an atomical standpoint, the egg chooses the sperm that will be born to be a human fetus in order to be a human baby. So everybody on this planet who's living and breathing right now is chosen. Did you think of that? I hope not. Because that totally kills the point of me even saying that. But if you didn't think of that... Thank you very much for giving me you that educated. Like, I'm just saying, this is hell. You're just dealing with one of the prisoners, that's all. What's the five check for you? Mm. Oh, that came out quick. Someone doesn't know what to do when someone comes off or when someone's like, whoa, 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 whoa. ew. Okay, Muggles, I feel bad for you because you got the Knight of Pentacles which means this person's waiting to come up to give you stuff after they basically tortured the fuck out of you. Just saying. Like they've been torturing the fuck out of you. They've been praying to Jesus afterwards, too. And it's just like, maybe you should... Look, they're praying to Jesus up here. Like, here's fucking... Ah, I need nails. Here's St. Michael blowing his horn. Look at this person praying. Look at this person praying in the corner, right? Who's praying in the corner? The goddamn priest. Fucking papist motherfucker. A religious person or someone who takes religion very seriously is suddenly praying to Michael as if he's fucking God. And Michael's like, why are you talking to me like that? Go talk to my homie. And this person's like, I don't know how to talk to your homie. And, he, and, and like Michael's like, how do you not talk to How do you not know how to talk to my homie? But you're talking to me. The audacity. He's the fucking Lord. I'm just one of his messengers. I'm letting you know what he's been telling you this entire time, but all of a sudden, you want to talk to me, but not get the, get the fuck out my face. Says St. Michael. How dare you? How dare you? It's like a split in on a lock. How dare you? What's this Knight of Pentacles? VR Trooper or Power Ranger here for a few sessions or an exasperated amount of time for money. I don't know. This is not ordinary love. They're a loud person, but they're always right. Don't tell me to fix myself. I ain't read this before. Yeah, this is the same person I've read before. So that's your dose. Be careful what you wish for because it just might come true. They ain't changed from the chip draw on camera. 
When the nice guy is a very nice girl. Oh, God, this is like a good girl, bad guy. Gangsta dude. You ever seen that on, like, the YouTube where she's just like, what's gas? Can I try some pressure? Who is your opponent? You know, like, if you've never seen that short on YouTube, oh, my God. Like, she tries to run, um, kiddishly from a drive-by. <laughs> it is the funniest thing, man. I swear to God. Oh, I swear to Christ. Oh. Of the almightiness. Yes. Alright, let me see. What's up with this judgment? Well, if someone wants to change my expectation. What the f So this person's praying while this person's sitting here for an expectation. What are they praying for? That someone doesn't have an expectation? Why is someone praying that someone else doesn't have an expectation? Because that's primarily showing to me in the judgment card because it's down here with the hive friend. How is someone going to be faithful and faithfully hope that someone doesn't give a fuck about what they do? Like, I'm being loud in my house right now because I'm, like, annoyed. Very. The Hierophant in the situation, they're praying. They even got a doll in their pocket. Or a baby. I don't know which one it is. For any... They want to give any... Like, is someone trying to pay you? Shit! Nika! Like, 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 I mean, like... What is this? Ooh! Are you getting rewarded for everybody's horrible doings? That's bullshit! I'm a fucking witch! I should get the fucking reward! I'm like, you know, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm being a little bit, like, jealous right now. But it's like, how are you gonna get rewarded? And, like, the witches who are actually getting severely fucked with. Because people know who the witches are. Especially on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram. Um, everyone's fucking with the actual practitioners. But for the regular people, you're getting extra money? Are you serious? Or someone's praying for extra money? On your behalf? Or wants to give you extra money and being like, please, please let this work and make this person want to date me? Like, what the fuck? I'm sorry, I'm a Capricorn, and I, and I, and I just gotta, I, I just gotta call this shit out. It's just like, hold on, I put up with all of this nonsense just to find out someone else. Like, I'm not mad because I'm very bad, uh, proud of my practices because they taught me a lot of things and I needed those for the necessary experiences for my life. But I could have done with fifty dollars, a thousand dollars, like goddamn, like who, who's getting paid for someone else acting like goddamn trash? Did someone answer me? Someone's gonna answer me in these comments. Someone's gonna tell me. I'm gonna make sure that the comments are wrong because my comments have been getting turned off every fucking reading and I've noticed that except for the ones where they're general if they're the zodiac ones they get turned off you might have to turn your shit on but I've been noticing that a lot a lot of my um, analytic stuff has not been working I don't know if it's because my husband has a copy of my phone which I didn't realize until like I thought about it or if it's because of the solar rays or maybe YouTube just fucking hates me and they don't want me to make friends, which makes sense, because no one likes me having friends, because I'm too happy. So, uh, what the fuck? Why is someone trying to change someone else, y'all? That doesn't make any sense. Look. Someone is infantile. They think that they are in prison, right? They're all sorrowful. They might have wanted money, but someone wants to go take a journey in order to educate them themselves. Someone thinks that someone else should change, but unfortunately, what's offered by the Ace of Pentacles, a court official's being like, they don't have to change for you. They're like, yeah, what, what, why did you come to court for? Why did you come to court for? You're sitting here just demanding that someone, like, this is, Someone might want to get a divorce, but they're expecting the divorce to make someone behave the way they want them to. You know, someone demanding that their wife have to, um, bring their kids at a certain amount of time every week, even though they know that that's when that person works. And they only know that because they stalked that person for three months prior to that. They haven't paid child support in three years. They've had children with other people they won't provide. But they expect this person to do whatever. It's like, oh, you have rules for this person, but not everyone else. 
You have a vendetta. You're angry at someone for something they can never fix. But you're going to punish them for the rest of their life? Or punish them through their kids? Or punish them somehow through the court system? Because there's definitely courts somewhere. Especially the court officials. Someone's trying to figure out their stuff. It could be a divorce. It could be a marriage. I don't know. It could be like something with to do with kids. Alimony. I don't know. But someone's expecting someone to pay more than what they actually give. This hierophant is committed to the idea that they're going to get expected money from an ex or some sort of situation. They even traveled a long goddamn way to break someone's throat open to get them the change. Thinking that's how that's going to work. This person is kind of gross, man. Like, they don't, like... Look, I hope this isn't your person. I hope this isn't your person. I don't want this to be your person because, um... Well, do you love them? Because they don't love you. Oh, shit. My bad. I didn't mean to hit the camera. Uh, they don't love you. They don't love you. They don't even have... Like, you know, they're sitting there with judgment, having expectations, all this shit. I don't think you're going to deliver it to them. Like, you got the, like, your kneecaps are hooked. Look at that curve. That's not normal for a bitch with heels. Most bitches know to, like, not lock their knees. This is a white woman, because she's locking her knees and making it a curve like she's a goddamn bird, a crow, like, cocking her knees backwards. That's a dangerous bitch. But that's beside the point. The point is... Someone's expecting a lot from you muggles. You are not practitioners. You don't do magic. You might do prayers, meditations, but that's as far as you go. You're lesser souls, if you will. Because lesser souls tend to only need meditation and prayer. People with souls of value actually have to fight shit off because the Lord gave them, or the universe, or Rixum, or management, or whatever you want to call them, had to give a, an individual more power to fight shit off because they're not doing it for them. Uh-uh. No. No, you are exactly a part of me. You can take care of your goddamn self. I ain't fixing you. It's like a black dad just throwing you at the house at right at 18. Like, no. You're a man. You can do it. That's, it's, this is the exact energy, except you're the opposite. Like, you're still taken care of. You don't want to venture into the magic. That's fine. You are still protected. You're just not protecting yourself. The Lord's protecting you. That's all. There isn't any shame, it's just you're not a warrior. Which there's nothing wrong with that. Not everyone needs to be a warrior. Not everyone needs to be a soldier or a uh, la la la. A soldier of God. Having to wear the spiritual armor. That's only for a select few. Only few people are um, able to battle the literal demons which also present themselves as angels. Most people don't know that. People only go surface deep. And I'm not trying to insult anybody, but y'all ain't that deep yet. You're just beginning. Call yourselves the higher self. Right now, new generation. 2.0, if you will. I'm not going to do a full reading on you because I got, I, I, I kind of don't need it for y'all because you're, yeah, oh, we're going to go to court. Oh, okay. Maybe I, I will. Someone isn't a rich girl, uh, but they want to get money from a rich girl, a, di a different rich girl. Yeah, because, like, they're such a rich, what the fuck? What? Mmm. This is your boo, huh? Is this your person? Is this your per is this your person or is this someone else? That's coming out of nowhere. To take what you didn't even know you owed them, little less actually owe them the stuff. Person wants to be main character number two with the fucking. 
pugtail hair. Uh, they got thoughts, though. Hope, great water. This is gonna work out. But that means I have to be a thief in order to make somebody sad. And it's a long road to go, but it's like, I'm a good person. I just stay in my house. Is that the alibi? Who's trying to thief off y'all? I don't even need to lay the rest of the cards out to know what the fuck is going on with y'all. In fact, I fucking won't. I'm not giving this individual the time of day because I already picked up that they fucking read this shit. They listen to me. Someone keeps listening to me. I'm sick of you listening to me. Why do you listen to me if you don't even like what the fuck I have to say? As, especially if it's about you and you're doing this shit right here. Why are you listening to me? Are you worried that your person's gonna listen? You gotta sit there and like convince them that that's not what's actually happening. That it's happening with somebody else. Oh, I'm sorry I'm calling you the fuck out. Maybe you should actually take accountability for how much of a piece of shit you are instead of worrying about covering your fucking tracks. I keep picking you up. You won't go the way. You won't go all the way. You know, you see that field over there where you keep going all the way down a mile and you keep going? That's the way you go to fuck off and yet you are still in my yard telling me, what are you doing outside your house? I fucking live here. I can do whatever the fuck I want outside of my house. I want to hang a nigger. I want to hang in her outside my house. I don't even paint that motherfucker blue. My nigger can be whatever color I want it to be. Why are you here interrupting my business to query about what the fuck it is I am doing. That's the question I have for whoever this is. Cause someone is a nip nose, someone wants to get into your finances, your business, they want to pull anything they can out to embarrass somebody. What is this about? Why are they expecting someone to like pull through, not as VR Trooper, but a Power Ranger, a finance that'll sell itself out several, several times for a fucking buck. Just for some cloud, some idea, some whatever. You know, like, let me be clear, like, I miss being in a relationship, but I'd rather be fucking alone than live in this shit. Yet someone thinks that someone wants to live in this shit, and it's just like, who is this? Like I said, I ain't even pulling that more cards out because I'm sitting here looking at this and I'm just like, fuck this person. I don't need anything else. Which really, um, for me personally, I don't know about y'all, but, um, this is a, uh, I, I, you know, I've, I've read cards. Since I was 17 years old, half my age, right? Never once in my life have I not had to buy, or uh, not buy, but uh, pull out clarifiers for something. Because I always lay extra shit out, because I might not know. This is the first time I'm looking at something, it's just like, I know exactly what the fuck's going on, and I don't appreciate this shit. Why did somebody else have to prove their worth? Or that they're actually loyal to another motherfucker. Better yet, why is someone afraid to go to court, but they're still threatening to go to court? Like, they're not going to, but they're telling someone they will. I want, I, I want you to do me a favor and, and, and like, do this and do that, because obviously you're not here for me. It's just like, motherfucker, I was not at the house for an hour. I'm sorry I couldn't pick up your call from jail. That's what it feels like. Especially with this court, all this other shit. It's like someone expects someone to be there on the beck and call. And it's just like, I'm not here to exist just for you. And that annoys me greatly. Absolutely. How are you going to make someone else come in and feel as though they are obligated to serve? All this expectation. Someone's got to convince themselves, convince another person that their pentacle is more important than the goddamn hierophant asking for extra money and someone realizing that their judgment of that another person with their expectations is not good. Someone probably has to travel to someone else or someone expects someone to start traveling to them. I don't know. I don't know why. Why do they expect this? Hell, why does this Ace of Cups lose interest in this rich girl? 
Probably because they drained your money. It's almost the same thing with the Carl and Carla thing, except that couple is doing each other in after what they did to the practitioners. This is like, you're minding your own business. You don't even know what these two are doing, and yet you're finding out that, um... Well, they still want something to do with you, except they're still sucking someone else dry. So it's like... Mmm. I'm going to lay five cards down, and that's it, because I'm literally just sitting there channeling, just looking at it, and it's just like, fuck these people. I mean, there is balance here. Ah. Mmm. Sorry, there's extra. Ah. Mmm. Strength card. Could be Leo. But still. Oh god, my battery's gonna die. 